Hey everyone, Rachel Varga here, registered nurse. Today I'm going to share with you how to get photo ready for a special event or photo shoot with expert tips from my husband who just so happens to be a professional athlete. As a kickboxer, he routinely weight cuts. So I'm going to share with you a few things that he incorporates into his diet and exercise routine to help you. I recently incorporated a few of these tips and tricks to get me photo shoot ready for a tropical island photo shoot in Belize that actually was a whole week long shoot. And it worked. But I still felt really healthy actually along the way. Because when you look good, you feel good, and when you feel good, you look good. Here come some tips. If you are new to working out, I recommend giving yourself at least eight weeks to really get your body prepared. This is what a lot of pro athletes do in what they call an eight week training camp. Don't ever crash diet. Eat and exercise in a way that's sustainable for you. Scheduling the time and place is the first hurdle. I did high intensity personal training sessions two times a week to get ready for my photo shoot. I also did at least one to two days a week of cardio and flexibility and stability training. Be sure to check out one of my other videos where I go over one of my favorite training drills and ways to actually get through cardio, which is important if you're wanting to get a little bit shredded for a shoot, you do have to increase your cardio a little bit. Now that you've made the time to work out and you've found a gym that you love, I do recommend meeting with a nutritionist. I met with a nutritionist named Ellie Short and she changed my life. I already thought that I had a really dialed in diet. However, she was able to point out a few things that I needed to improve in my diet using a very extensive questionnaire. One of the reasons I met with a nutritionist was because I wanted to find ways to reduce my bloating, make sure that I still was able to eat and have the exercise I needed to do really intense workouts with. And of course, get me trim for my photo shoot. But little did I know, I would actually stumble upon a wonderful lifestyle and diet that helps me feel great every single day. But I wouldn't have known this if I didn't try something new and meet with an expert to help guide me into another direction with my diet and lifestyle. With my nutrition, I also needed to recognize that I wanted to put on a little bit of muscle. And if you want to put on a little bit of muscle, you have to be fueling your body properly. I've always placed an emphasis on being healthy because when you are healthy, you look healthy. My nutritionist suggested that I reduce my grains and dairy and add a pre-workout snack a couple hours before my workout. This pre-workout snack was a half a banana and a spoonful of almond butter. And I actually had more energy during my workouts because my body wasn't digesting a lot of food. So by eating a few hours before, you allow your body to digest those nutrients. And then when you're ready to use them, they're available. I was previously following a plant-based diet and she had recommended to actually add a little bit more meat into my diet, which I didn't actually initially like, but I did start to take out the grains and take out the dairy and right away started feeling better and less bloated. A lot of meals that I prepared were roasted vegetables, so Brussels sprouts, red onions, parsnips, zucchinis, and a lot of kale and Swiss chard from my garden. And then I would roast either chicken or salmon with it. I personally don't have a lot of red meat. I just find I feel a little bit heavy afterwards and it's a little bit tricky for me to digest. But it's different for everyone. Essentially, I did have a bit of a paleo diet guideline, but sometimes I would feel really leggy and want a little bit of complex carb. When you reduce your complex carbs, you will get a little bit of a brain fog and a little bit tired. So sometimes you will want to carb cycle a little bit, but just see what feels good for you. But that really is the easiest way to trim down is to reduce your complex carbs. So your potatoes, your bread, your grains, rice, things like that. So if you feel like having a bit of a cheat day or you're feeling really laggy, just listen to your body and that's what I call conscious eating. When my hubby weight cuts for his fights, he cuts about 5 to 10 pounds in about 5 to 6 days. And a lot of that is water cutting which he also will do with the use of a sauna suit. This is really extreme and not something you should try, but a lot of professional athletes do this. And it does work. 
but it's not really necessary if you're preparing for an event or a photo shoot or a wedding. It might be a little bit overkill. He's done this for years and increasing his water and cutting his carb is really the fastest way for him to get to that. He actually has to cut weight in order to make weight as a professional kickboxer. Not every athlete has to cut weight, but in the fight sports they do. But don't be discouraged when you've been training really hard and your weight goes up. It's actually not a bad thing. When you have more muscle, you actually just naturally will be burning more calories. I also never would calorie count. I would sort of go by how much I wanted. When you're eating vegetables and meat, and that's primarily your nutrient intake, you're eating a lot of vegetables. I would find myself eating my plate and then I'd be hungry 30 minutes later. That's okay. I really was eating a lot of nutrient dense foods and taking some really great supplements also that were recommended to me by my naturopath. After the photo shoot in Belize, I actually noticed I even lost weight. And one of the reasons why was because I was losing my muscle a little bit because I was training so much and I had so much muscle for the shoot. I actually find when I have more muscle, I look better. When we have excess fat, especially in our midsection, it does actually put pressure on our organs. And when you have a higher BMI, you're predisposed for things like diabetes, and hypertension, which is high blood pressure. So what you do at a young age significantly can reduce your risk for developing these types of diseases. Fitness is amazing for your body. It's also great for your mind when you try new things and it's amazing for your spirit when you see those results and you're like, yeah, I did that, good for you. You also want to have your diet dialed in as well. And sometimes you need a little bit of a check-in with a personal trainer or a nutritionist to kind of get you to your goal. Stay tuned for the next video in this series, which will offer practices to help you develop your inner and outer beauty together. How do you work out to maximize your routine? What's your diet like? Do you have questions for me? Leave them in the comments below. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe so that you can see more of them and give me a like button to let me know and then I'll make more in this body series as well. I'll see you in the next one.